Hi, mate. How are you going? Hi, I'm good Thank you. What are you up to? Yeah, I'm um, setting up extractions. You can see May is now spreading out the soil that we've uh, harvested from plants that we've grown in the glass house. She's spreading it out over an in tray. Um, we have a little bit of gutter guard below some tissues. Basically that just supports it. And then we spread the soil out uh, very thinly so it's probably not more than about a centimetre deep. And after May's done that, she'll add about a litre of water uh, to it. And what that will do is allow the soil to become fully wet, but not actually um, water logged. Won't, the, the, water, the water won't be covering the soil. And so it becomes fully wet and the nematodes, the root lesion nematodes are able to swim out. Um, we leave this for 48 hours at 22 degrees Celsius. And after that time, um, you can see over here, we just leave them to sit for 48 hours. After that 48 hours, we will lift the soil up and allow it to drain for about 10 minutes. And then we're basically finished with the soil at that point, and then we can sieve it. What we do is we take that litre of water and we'll sieve it through a 20 micron sieve. So that's small enough that none of the nematodes will be able to fit through it. So basically, we take that and we pour it gently through. Give the tray a, a quick, quick rinse and pour that through. And then we wash the nematodes down on the sieve so that they'll collect at the bottom. Allow the volume to drain a little bit and then we'll pour that into our labelled sample tube. And what we end up with is a sample that has the nematodes and from this we're able to take a one mil subsample and then count that on a slide and it lets us work out how many nematodes per kilogram of soil were in the pot. Hi Jean. Hello. We've just extracted this sample and we'd like to get you to count it please. Yes. Okay. Jean will take one mil yes. from this and she'll put it onto a, uh, a Hawksley slide which yeah. is a, a plastic slide that has 24 cell grid and she'll be able to count the number of nematodes under the microscope and from that number we can calculate how many nematodes per kilogram of soil uh, were in this sample.